although the gas cooker is simple in appearance and easy to use, it is in fact a very carefully designed piece of apparatus based on years of scientific research and the experience of housewives. There are many types of gas cooker, but they all work on the same principles. This film will describe a typical gas cooker and show how the various parts of it work. It can be used to boil, bake, fry, grill, roast, simmer, warm plates, stew, braise and steam. Gas cooking allows quick and easy heat control because the gas flame can be lowered and raised at will to suit the exact graduation of heat required. This is the great advantage that gas has over other forms of cooking and the reason the gas cooker can perform all its many functions with complete efficiency. The taps which control the gas on the cooker are designed on a safety principle. This type has to be pressed inwards before it can be turned. This safeguards turning the cooker on accidentally. These taps are tucked away below the edge of the cooker. Here are the parts of the cooker in more detail. First, the plate rack, chief use of which is the warming of plates and dishes while the meal is being cooked. A cloth spread over the plates keeps the heat from rising through them and they become warm more quickly. Usually, the plate rack is placed above the hot plate, as in this type of cooker. This one, a larger make, has a specially heated drawer for warming plates and dishes. Sometimes the cooker is so made that when not in use, the plate rack folds down and makes a flat top. Now we come to the part of the cooker which is used the most, the hot plate. This is the top of the main unit where boiling, stewing, frying, steaming and simmering are done. On the hot plate, the flames from the burners heat pans and kettles by contact with the underside. This heat is transmitted at high efficiency, whether the flames are high, medium or low. The hot plate consists of a smooth cover specially shaped to hold the pan rests or trivets. These trivets support the pans but offer no obstruction to the flames. Both the trivets and the cover can be easily removed. Underneath are the burners, usually four altogether. In this cooker, the burners are all the same size. But in some cookers, like this, the burners are of different sizes to suit different methods of cooking. Whatever size they may be, the burners can be easily controlled. They are all equally efficient at anything from fast boiling to slow simmering. The burners should be turned up at full only until the required temperature of the food in the pans has been reached. The flame should then be lowered immediately. Never let the flames lick up the sides of a pan. Concentrate them by turning them down. Too big a flame wastes gas and doesn't cook any quicker. Whenever possible, keep a lid over a saucepan. A pan without a lid wastes a lot of heat. An economical way of using heat is to cook several foods together, like this, with a steamer above a saucepan. Potatoes in the bottom, for instance, and a pudding in the top. Cook vegetables in a very small amount of water. This is another economy and makes the vegetables taste better. Bring the water to the boil first and cook the vegetables over a low flame with the lid on the pan. Their full flavor is preserved and gas is saved in the process. Underneath the hot plate of most cookers is the next important part the grill. Food being grilled is cooked by heat radiated from metal grill frets which are fitted over a burner. Before the grill is used the gas is turned on and the burners are lit. A double row of gas flames play onto the metal frets and they become red hot. 
food to be cooked is put in a pan under the burner and the hot frets. This cooker has a cover over the grill to increase the amount of heat directed onto the food. This cooker has a grill built in at eye level. This means that the capacity of the grill is large and also that food can be watched as it is cooking. Grill pans have a wire grid which can be adjusted to several heights according to the food being cooked. A mixed grill, for instance, must not cook too quickly and therefore should be given the greatest distance from the fret. Bread needs toasting rapidly to keep it moist and is best done at the highest grid level. The grid should be removed altogether if a dish of food is to be browned under the grill. A cauliflower au gratin, for instance, or a macaroni cheese. Finally, we come to the oven, in which food is cooked by the circulation of currents of hot air around it. The oven of a gas cooker is a metal box insulated with glass wool within a casing of metal foil. It is heated by gas burners, either one row at each side, as in this cooker, or a single burner along the back, as in this one. The heat of the oven, that is the gas rate of the burners, is regulated by a thermostat. The thermostat is controlled by a knob on the outside of the oven. Before starting to cook, the thermostat chart supplied with the cooker should be consulted. This gives the correct setting for the food to be cooked. The thermostat is then turned to the recommended number. The oven gas tap is turned on at full and the oven burners lit. The oven is now left for the time required on the chart to reach the correct heat. Different ovens may have a different time for heating, but most take 15 minutes. At the end of the time, the oven is at the right heat and the thermostat will keep the temperature constant while the oven is in use. The full working of the thermostat is explained in another film. This is what is happening inside the oven. The heat from the burners causes hot air to rise to the top, where it is deflected by the roof of the oven and forced down again so that it goes out at the flues. This means that there's a continuous circulation of heat inside the oven and also that there's a difference of temperature between the top, the middle and the bottom. Since hot air rises, the top is hottest of all. The middle of the oven has less heat by comparison and the bottom has less heat still. We call this the cool part of the oven. The shelves supplied with the oven are made so that the circulation of hot air continues round and through them and the food is thus cooked properly. A tin or tray too large for the oven stops the current of air and causes the food to cook unevenly. The shelves supplied with the oven should be put in the position recommended by the chart. The tins or trays should be placed so that the longest sides are parallel to the burner or burners. Dishes requiring different temperatures can be cooked at the same time, utilizing the different zones of heat. Never cook one dish only. This wastes gas. Here is the most economical way of using the oven, as well as the most practical. Meat, fruit pies, puddings and cakes go in the top and the middle. Dishes that need slow cooking, like stews and milk puddings, can be cooked on the base of the oven at the same time. There are many types of cooker for all requirements. This one is suitable for a large household or a small cafe. Here is a small cooker suitable for cooking for one or two people or for use where space is restricted. Some have a built-in drawer for the extra pans and tins required for cooking. Many cookers have an oven door which opens at the side. 
but this and some other makes of cooker have drop-down doors, forming a useful shelf. This is also good for a kitchen where the light is in the wrong place and a side open door might obstruct it. This one has a fireproof glass panel in the oven door through which cooking can be watched. Nearly all cookers can be fitted with some kind of labour-saving method of lighting. This is the gas match type of lighter which contains a flint. Another is the gas pistol which is worked by a small electric battery. Whenever possible, the kettle or pan should be put on the hot plate first and the gas turned on as the light is applied. Some types of cooker have a pilot light permanently lit, which ignites the burners as they are turned on. Modern cookers are made so that every part can be easily removed and cleaned. Trivets, guide plates, burners and grill all take out very easily and can be washed in warm soapy water. The burner holes can be cleaned from time to time with a pipe cleaner or a matchstick. Shake all excess water out after rinsing. The cooker should be washed down regularly. Modern cookers are finished in smooth, easily cleaned and very durable material. Remove and wash the tray under the burners whenever something has been spilled on it. If possible, always clean out the oven after it has just been used and is still warm. The grease comes off more easily. In the modern cooker, all possible corners have been rounded and all dirt collecting crevices abolished, making them both labor saving and efficient. Properly used, a gas cooker with its heat control, its burners to suit all sizes of saucepan and frying pan, its rapidly heated grill and its temperature controlled oven will give long service and satisfactory cooking.